Double Dragon. It's your boy, A Man. It's your boy, I like him. We'll be back with some new heat for y'all today. Like I never left. She said. Okay. They leave him, him flying, then the episode later they show him landing. Bro. Last we saw of Zoro, he was sinking into the city. Oh, he was sinking. Now he was the only one who fell in water. Comes back up off the waves. Good catch. I'll pay him back two times over. I feel like he mean what he say. He said he ain't have his do rag on, you know what I'm saying? We gotta know a Luffy yet. We ain't seen him. Luffy probably stuck on something. Can't be in the water. He'd be dead. But Polly is actually younger than what I thought he was. I thought he was like 30s or, 30s or something. Dang. Mm -mm -mm. He got back up. He was knocked out last time. He got up. He did? As soon as he's about to touch that picture, remember, he was like, oh, don't touch picture. it. He's going to keep saying his name. He called Khalifa fast as heck. What number is that? Times of running away? Can't count. Wait, what the freak was that? They tried to flash that in there, right? So that's Frankie. Dang it. This probably how he. Who was that though? It looked like it was that dude. Who had the top hat from the government that visited Iceberg son the first time? He was old at this twenty two. He was ago. annoyed that he was on. Um, uh -huh. He had to keep coming back here trying to find Pluto. Mm. Maybe he was trying to find Pluto as well. Yeah, that that has to be him. Mm. I don't think that's him. Look at this nose. He didn't have like a you know like when we spot Distinct characters. Features. Yeah. Okay, what's up? What I'm about to do, no matter what. And I got six. We are not about to like this. Yeah, it's eight years ago. I remember the grandma was like, oh, that was eight years ago. Bro, I just want to look at the cold, bro. Mm -hmm. And he patient too. Mm, he's speaking jewels. He's dropping jewels right now. Frankie. Cypher C number nine. CP5. CP5. That's number 35? It looks way smaller now. <laughs> <laughs> he trying to practice. Yeah, I see what you're talking about. He trying to stop him from giving like weapons away to the uh, government too. Dang, Frankie must have messed up, created something, and caused his whole rift. Yep. <laughs> this the dude he had in the choco. Look at these people behind him faces. <laughs> Why he closed the door like that? <laughs> Fashion about Pluton. He laughing in his mouth. <laughs> he thought he, he had already know that, bro. He thought, thought he had the thief, bro. Dang! It's being considered to be written off? These dudes look like they just beastie. Mm. That's exactly why nobody want to give it to y'all. Why you drink that so cool like that? <laughs> He's having a bad day. <laughs> oh my gosh, what's he about to do, man? Mmm. Is that a smoothie? A slushie? Slushie? Mm -hmm. You rarely see something being entrusted to two people. Dang, so he had him. Dang it, man. He stole him. Well, I'm at it. What? Time about to tell him some shit, isn't it? 
He look weird now with some shorts. Mm-hmm. Seems like it doesn't fit him because he's, because he's the Speedo guy. I'm so tired of this courthouse ship. I'm gonna blow it up. He was he was one of the people that was with the group. Mm-hmm. He took, took a ride. ride was he probably was in there like, dang, they was about to set him free. What? He about to frame us and make it think that that's coming from us. Man, what the? F- Oh, I hate seeing like a lost child in like chaos. They use Frankie, one of Frankie's battleships. They use this battleship. Oh, I swear, turn this man to stop building the shit that. He said, "I know that." And he started running. Got the bear! Get the bear! Somebody hey, get man, the bear! Somebody get the bear! He about to bring out 36. This dude, man. I can't stand this dude, man. People didn't see Frankie. How's Frankie going to control all these ships, first of all? Right. Plan was executed perfectly. Got to give it to him. Oh, that's probably Frankie trying to fight them. Because he thought that they was still there. Oh, my God. It gets even crazier. Oh, he's not even there. Oh, that wasn't him. But because oh, he's not about to be. Oh, he's not gonna be happy. Shit, isn't it? They ain't check on time. Dang, man. That's wild. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. This dude, man. Oh, man. This is the crazy. first time we see Tom, like, serious. Normally, he's, you know, energetic, mm-hmm. smiling, charismatic. And then, as soon as Frankie came, uh, soon as the iceberg came in, uh, he jumped out of his seat and ran. I, I, I want to see these blueprints, man. I want to see what they look like. It's crazy that. We spend an arc with a villain trying to get this particular weapon, and we didn't. Need, and and it's like yeah. we are diving into the into into the details, the depth of it right yeah. now. A hundred some episodes later, yeah, and it's a freaking ship. Crazy. I'd, I I would not have known that it was a ship. What type of ship? You could have gave me probably 20, 20, 20 answers to be like, uh, is it a pen? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, oh my god. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, that's that's crazy. But um, imagine how Frankie must feel right now. Like, do you think he's- I would feel devastated? And he is at fault because he's probably what around right now. He's probably around like what 16, 15 maybe. I don't know. I think but he's old enough to understand. He's old enough to understand, and I can understand both sides. So I definitely understand Iceberg son. You know what I'm saying? Hey man, these could be used for like weapons, but you know how like Frankie is, but I feel like saying that he's he's like not innocent. I feel like that probably kind of went too far. Yeah, he's probably in his feelings, but if you're smart enough to understand that these could be useful weapons, you're smart enough to be able to to be able to to like not I guess push it too far with with, with Frankie. But he probably was in the heat. You know what I'm saying? He's probably he probably was in heat that moment. You know. I feel sorry for Frankie. Just hearing his childhood, his parents throwing him off the ship, one. But then two, this is his this is just a hop this is his hobby. This is what makes him happy, like doing this. Yeah. And imagine somebody takes something from you that you love to do. And used to hurt people you care about. That and then just take it away in general. Like yeah. you gonna like to you, that's your core. That's what you like to do. So it's hard to see him like listening to Iceberg and just stop doing it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Even though that would have stopped this from happening, but at the same time, he would have lost himself in a sense because that's something he really enjoyed doing. I don't like that this happened, but I feel like that this is perfect timing because this is the this was the, this is a flat out example as to. Like being hard headed, not listening mm. until it hits home. 
yeah. which means like people right now we deal with the coronavirus. Yeah. Feel like nobody's staying home. Yeah. But when it when it finally hit home, I bet you gonna be in the house. Right. You see what I'm saying? Right. So yeah, yeah. This this, this is a perfect time for for this particular lesson, and I'm yeah. hoping some of y'all that probably was out and about, like not not caring about this. Probably can can listen to us saying that you need to stay in the house, bro. Because yeah, some it's some, serious. It's literally serious. Yeah, bro. do not do not wait until it it, it hits, hits home. home. Like do do not wait for that. Do not wait until it hits home because then you're gonna be like, damn. Facts. Should listen to Double Dragon. Uh. Uh, but uh, yeah, man. But this was crazy. And then Tom got impaled and he's not moving. And I'm not worried about Tom. Mostly I'm worried about Tom. The flashback. He was standing. That's- Man, bro. I'm, not, I'm not. I'm not worried about it impaling him. Oh, this yeah, yeah. not this impel, but it's like yeah, but isn't it? Yeah, bro? it's kind of like one of them. Like I know Tom about to get popped. Yeah, and I kind of knew Doctor was gonna get popped, but I but it still felt. I still had the feels. I'm about pretty certain Doctor yeah. Harry. Like I still had the feels, even though I kind of knew he was gonna die, and I feel like it's gonna be the same with this. Ah, uh, uh, well, yeah, man. We got get into the next episode. 250. 250. 250 episodes. Um. All right, episode 250. Blue. They probably about to show what Luffy ended ended up. Mm-hmm. They're doing this little big thing. I'm trying to see if it's just for this. God, it's been taking forever for Pluton uh, for this uh Aqua Laguna to come. Jesus yeah. Christ, bro! I don't want to see none. I'm trying to see my homie Tom, bro. The freak. Uh, if he stuck between two buildings again, for- to his defense, this one wasn't his fault. He got threw out. The other time he, he got caught by himself. Yeah, she need to go to AA. Her and Sanji together. Yes. What is going on with these events? This is too much jumping. The fire is not moving in the background. <laughs> and intro. The shade. <laughs> I'm glad he said that. Dang. He done made it so it. Can't hey, come out. What? This is a good thing. But what? You spun down. I don't care what the frick your name is. I saw the end. Saw the end? What you? I saw it said the end. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, saw I saw the, saw end. the end of the world. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so that's how they ended up in cuffs. So none of the towns folks that said, what was the town people that just found them and said that they, was, that, right. that they weren't part of that? This dude look like he's just on some okay, cap stuff. Maybe bro. it wasn't him then. They look so close, bro. Oh, yeah. He, uh, Hold on, man. Can we pause? Ah, uh, nah, I guess not. Because I'm trying. I was trying to see. I was about to say, if that was him, if he was part of that five and he just acted like he didn't know him, then he's technically half unethical and half ethical. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but we got to go I don't back think it was him. That. I don't know. But that'd be so petty. I like to say it's splendid. splendid. But really? Okay, he still honored it. <laughs> Me? <laughs> this ain't no joking, joking matter, bro. Ooh, that's the one thing to get to, to get to him. Oh, Talk about ships that you built. You better honor them bang dang creations, bro. Anytime you wanted to. Discipline this, but. <laughs> Talk about shit. Get it in. Stuck as I thought. pulled it out. That wasn't supposed to come out. Yeah, because he didn't build it to, to for good, for good or bad. I'm actually learning a lot from this dude, man. That's a tough pill to swallow. He, the dude speaking facts, though. That's a tough pill to swallow, but I understand where Frankie's coming from because someone he's loved is being affected by something he built. He mm-hmm. he built. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Imagine the creator of guns or something like you bet. Like in Tom's sense, be proud of every gun you created, but in a sense, dude, some guns are like you know. 
feel like the dude that created guns is evil. Out <laughs> <laughs> of uh, 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 maybe cars, because cars can attack people, and run people over, car accidents. That's the people. Huh? That's people. Ships is people, guns are people too. But guns is like, it's, it's, it's only so purpose is what? It ain't to tear down trees. Yeah, but the it's ships. To kill people. The ship, if you build, a, if you put a cannon on a car, then does that change the fact? Or is it not just a regular so, car? So, you put cannons on a ship. ship. A standard a de- ship. A destructive ship. This is not regular ships. Okay. What's the ship's purpose? What is Frankie's purpose for building them, right? They call Frankie, them battleships. Frankie's just like build, building battleships. Yeah, right? like, like destructive ships. But but a gun, only purpose is to kill. It has no other purpose. Okay, we can a use a different can analogy. Do, we can use a different analogy. That's why but I thought I was say, say cars. Well, cars can kill people, but its purpose is to is to get people from A to B. That's what its general purpose is. So if you put a cannon on a car, that'll make the Back at it with One Piece. Yeah, man. Sorry about 250, man. Yeah. Stupid Mike. I don't know what happened. We mid conversation. We didn't even know it was cut out or something. But yeah, um, so hopefully going forward, um, shouldn't have this issue. We try to set up a contingency plan just in case one might go out. We got a backup source. We all know doing contingency plans. I feel like I feel like I feel like we gotta go through more stuff than other reactors, man. I really do. Built for this. But I just have a feeling that we go through so much <laughs> more crap than other other people, bro. Literally. Yeah. Like like the feds be after us or something. The feds be like go crazy. But um Most Wanted. <laughs> That's what you should get. Most wanted posters. Mm. You ever used to play that game? Need for most speed, wanted. most wanted. Yeah. It was fire, but yeah. it was it wasn't no underground. Underground set the tone. Underground. Need for speed underground. Man. Drag racing, bro. But um, we're gonna scan through our 250 reaction and uh let y'all know kind of what we thought about Tom and stuff. The end. I think we actually had rankings too. We had backstory rankings. I don't know if that was a 250 or not. I wanna I say think it, it was. had to be, yeah, because that that's was like it, the end of his, his uh Yeah. But we just say that after going through a couple of things, I guess. Yeah. But um, without further ado, we better get to it. Yes, run it up. Right. All right, so we start out talking. All right. <laughs> he said we start out talking. <laughs> this is, <clears throat> get it? So we can just go to. So it cuts out literally right here, bro. Like where. <laughs> Tom and stuff went crazy. I hope they don't copyright us, Double Dragon. Yeah, I hope they. They seem like they some cool dudes, man. They ain't gonna name them. Copyright. Mm-hmm. Ain't you know what I'm <laughs> Yeah, they had him in the court. <sighs> Messed up. What do you think about uh, Tom? You know he don't get mad off nothing easily. Yeah. But when like, Frankie said he don't love his ships or something yeah. like that, he broke out of it. That was a huge moment. Yeah. That was a huge moment, and I kind of understood. And uh, I think uh, we had, like, a little bit of a bit of like a debate in regards to, like, I don't know, like, how it's perceived with, with Frankie and stuff. But I understood, like, because it seems like when he's passionate about something, we see him as a great person. But if you actually sit back and think about it, it's like, it's like, he has a trigger too, so Tom, like yeah. So, yeah. Oh, oh, what if what if what if I came and just start talking about he uh, trash at making ships? So you know what I'm saying? Like I don't think nobody ever came at his like his like ships or like broke down his ships or anything like that until this moment. Yeah. So when the second somebody mentions about he don't um he pretty much regret making them. My man just like snapped like yeah. something just broke. He was like, "What you say?" Yeah. He wanted to give him give him that whooping. Yeah, but mm. I understand Frankie Frankie saying that because his uh, weapons actually hurt people. Even though Iceberg tried to warn him a bunch of times, but Frankie Frankie's a youngin. You know yeah, what I'm saying? He young. Iceberg should have just broke him. Should like literally should have just broke him down. 
or just this talk to tough. him about it more seriously. This was definitely tough because, like, I think we were saying too, like last video, like Frankie, that's his passion. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. That's his hobby, and it's like I understand Frankie because he's building something that he enjoy doing. You know what I'm saying? I'm not one to take something away from someone that's that's passionate about something because that's like that starts to become like your core and like where you direction you headed you know in life and stuff like that but i understand iceberg with like trying to let this man know like bro the stuff you building is not it's not good yeah and it's just crazy to see it lead down to the path of them using frankie's ships to set us up frame them and then eventually tom had to take the the blame for it you know what i'm saying so it's tough either side, you know what I'm saying? A huge a huge thing was was the fact that he was saying that you can't really control what other people do with your creations, so you shouldn't be feeling, you know what I'm saying, ill will about your creations. And I think I stand behind that more than any other blame or yeah. any other he shouldn't have been making weapons in the first place. He didn't make these weapons with ill intentions. Right. He made it because it was his passion. So I feel like I'm I'm mostly siding with with like Tom saying that you can't really control what people are doing. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I think I can agree with that. Yeah, I agree with that too, man. I just um, Frankie just feel bad because Tom Tom brought him Frankie parents threw him off the ship. You know what I'm saying? Tom brought him in, bro. Like this ain't no nobody. This, Tom and Frankie have a deep relationship, and then for Frankie. To come to the realization that they use his ships and Tom is taking the sacrifice for it, like I just definitely understand like what type of mental state that'll put you in. This when he made the sacrifice. I think this moment right here, it yeah. pretty much shows like, kind of shows that he has that uh, straw hat, straw hat uh, gene, I guess, because like you're not really sitting back, adhering to uh, traditions and pretty much what's supposed to happen. Right. You going off of how you feel and who you care about. So like you're not you're not really listening to nobody. You going based off what you think is ethical and right, and which is they being accused of something that they didn't really do. So. He not about to just sit back and let some government try to kill Tom. So I think he this moment in. right here was like his like straw hat moment to me mm-hmm. where like I feel like everybody went against the grain to like do something for somebody that they love or care about. Yeah. So I think that this was his straw hat moment right here. Yeah, definitely dope, man. Fought for Tom. Mm, they left. Oh, snap. So he went, got on his battleship. Can't believe this audio messed up, bro. Yeah. Chased up the Tom and them. I don't know how he got in front of that train, you know what I'm saying? But that's another story. And then um, this was like his resolve. Like, to me, this was like, I don't know, man. This put Frankie up. Like, I, I'm down with him being a straw hat, you know. After, of course, after these last two episodes mm-hmm. and stuff like that, but... Him coming in trying to stop this train, bro, at, at no matter what the cost. Like, just think about it. It's a train headed toward you, bro. Yep, and, and, and the frog right there, the main person that we saw at the very beginning. Yeah. And I think we were talking about, Um, I had brought up the, the fact that the, the, there's always, like, some type of animal that's kind of connected to the past. And, in like, each arc, what do you have? A snake. And then you have, you know what I'm yeah. saying, the frog. I'm pretty sure there's another one. Can't, can't remember. But, yeah. Him pretty much seeing him stopping the train, psychological stuff. The frog just keep trying to stop him. Yep. It's crazy, crazy how we get to see like the beginning of it. Enough. Yeah, yeah. I like to see that cycle, but then we realize Tom really didn't die, too. So he kind of like tranquilized in the in the train and stuff, headed to Enid's lobby or whatever. I kind of want to see what happens to uh, Frankie after he got hit by the train, because that's where he's pronounced dead. Then they finally brought back uh, Stamp Stampedum, whatever his dumb dude name is. Oh, uh, and uh, I mean, he was on the phone, the uh, yeah. phone with uh, Frankie and stuff like that. Facts. I, that was that was kind of surprising. 
Which it, part? Of it being spot him. I wasn't surprised by that part. Well, what I would say is, leading up to it, before they revealed him, it started getting more, like, obvious. But before, uh, like, when they was talking about the CP9 leader and nothing like that. CP9 leader? Yeah. Like, we didn't know until we seen, like, his, we so just started seeing his backstory. said that they got somebody on the phone for you. That's At when that moment, knew. Yeah. you didn't know that it was him? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, it was the, it was no it was no margin for error. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like it got obvious, but once we seen this backstory and we understood, like it wasn't. We seen the backstory first, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then they got the phone stuff, you know what I'm saying? But it wasn't until they got the phone stuff that I was like, dang, it's probably him, you know what I'm saying? So it was like they brought it up, they like connected it or something like that. But I didn't know watching Frankie, like, man, that might be the CP9 leader now or something like that, you know? Oh, uh, that's the thing. Got CP9 on it. Mm. Yeah. I that's hope that dude get obliterated. But, yeah, he found that out, and then we had a little review. I don't know what the freak we were talking about, but. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? A little mm-hmm. recap of 250, man. Definitely don't want that to happen going forward, because there's some clutch stuff we want to, like. Like, we want y'all to G8. get all the content, you know what I'm saying? So, so they should have did. G8. All the audio go out on G8. <laughs> I've been fine with that. Yeah, I think. But yeah, man. I'm ready to get to the next episode, 251. I'm excited to see what this in this lobby look like. How do you support this type of leader? Like, this is crazy. Dang, bro. Usopp can't even do nothing. Just walk past him like he ain't nothing. Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. It's a mistake. <clears throat> you only shot for a second. <laughs> that nigga's got numbers laid out. Hey, hey, you start mouse, biting that root. You disappointed me. Run, mouse. Hey, he's staying here. Real one. Chopper. Chopper. This man's a beast, bro. Boulders and stuff landed on him. The man picked up a sword. <laughs> hey man, heard about that? I don't think I know who they are. He said, "Oh, fam, cuz from the back street." <laughs> Try to discredit him. He calling him out, man. People be watching, bro. You might think that people ain't watching. People are always watching. So I guess this train can go through the Aqua Lagoon. Because of the railroad. That water. You need Coda. I mean, wake up. All these dudes had an opportunity to save her. Chop a goat, bro. He got both of them out, too? He look like uh, that Pokemon. From the new Pokemon. Oh, you're right. With the yeah, sword in his mouth. Right. And the mouse. They like, all just saw him save Iceberg. If they trip, I promise you, bro. I'm stealing on everybody. Spanish. Oh, my God. The first thought is I got to treat Nami right away. After he did some heroic stuff, standing on his own. Thank you. Man, they said Kaku at them. <laughs> oh, shoot. You saw about the Ultra Instinct. Oh, no, man. Oh no, bro. Not like this, bro. Can't even give us a proper burial, bro. You sure got firefighters? <laughs> sure say BS. I about to see a different side of iceberg, probably. Yeah, talk of the town. At least they got some decency. Tell them. Ain't she like no no snack? What you gonna do? Hide behind a tree or something? They gonna probably back up like three feet. <laughs> Dang, bro, you could do a pebble or something. Oh, he gonna clear it up later. I'm like, bro, they all right clear there now. That's probably what days though. He just said the words. Better 
ペルペルペルペルペルペルペルペルペルペルペルペルペルペルペルペルペルペルペルペルペルペルペルペルペルペルペルペルペルペおいしょ、おいしょ、おいしょ。バスターカー。フリックスだよ。フリックスだよ。フリックスだよ。フリックスだよ。Because she loves us. Mm. We, knew, we knew you were still good, Robin. Loyalty, boy. <laughs> He's like, I can't have that. He said, Oh, no. Dang, bro. She relieved. <laughs> I'm relieved too. He like, she l i k e I got what I need to do. Now. She knows. Ooh! <laughs> It's about to go crazy. It's about to go crazy, bro. They just left him there. s a n j i did something. I don't know if I can stand behind that. <laughs> they thought they was gonna see something. <laughs> Dang, now we gotta go save Robin from Ennis Lobby? If that's where she at? Bingo! Hey, this man, this man, bruh. Every. Time. Every time, bro. I'm, st I'm starting to see how old they're using him because he's always in like the the background aiding the actual story, I guess. Like just coming in at the perfect per perfect moment. Perfect moment. He came in with with uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh, two. No, I love his name. The he had dude. he had an alias. When he was going against Crocodile. Oh, Mr. Prince. Yeah, so he had that. He had, when he came out of nowhere. With the uh, candle dude, too. The he came dude. clutch with that. Yeah, and then with uh, Eniru going up there, helping Nami Usopp escape. Yeah. And now this. It's like he's always in the, like, Zoro always getting lost. He always fighting people and, and being able to control the Straw Hats when Luffy is. Somewhere trapped. It's kind of like it keeps it keeps doing the same thing a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, like you kind of see the the like the the specific straw hats doing the same thing in every arc. Luffy getting stuck somewhere. Luffy always missing and lost. Uh, Sanji is always like in the uh, background, pretty much aiding the story and stuff. Zoro always getting lost. It's, yeah, yeah, they all have their moments. Robin be dipping, yep. finding pony cliffs. Yep. Usopp always. Come in in a clutch moment. Always too. running. You know Gotta man. give him his negatives. Men be running, bro. He runs, but he he clutch at the end of the yeah, day he too. Yeah, too. But um, what happened? My favorite part was Nami, bro. How relieved she felt knowing that Robin was still on their side. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It was pretty saving him from a Buster call and all of this other bullshit, isn't it? And she was just like, bro. You think that little stuff is gonna stop Luffy and Zoro? Like once they know Robin is like good and she okay, it's about to go crazy. Like that was that gave me chills, bro. Yeah. And, and then um, what they did with the uh, Mary, you know what I'm saying, was disrespectful and was hard to watch. You know what I'm saying? Like we were supposed to give her a proper burial. Not saying that I don't know if this is gonna crash the ship or not, but the way they in their room, you have to like lift the ship up. 
to put it in there. You know what I'm saying? It's not meant to just go down that fast. So that probably I'm kind of mad they split it up though. Like either I feel like the episode could have been completely about that scene and just continued it, or it could have been about you know a, uh, uh, Sanji and Nami's re- Sanji and Robin's reveal with the story from Iceberg. I don't like that they split that up because it kind of takes away from the emotions. It's like we over here feeling some type of way, then all of a sudden they cut right to something else. I feel like they could have had a particular episode for each one to kind of keep the feels going. Yeah, and that's why I don't think it's going to be a, um, it's going to crash it because they didn't spend that much time on it. But, um, yeah, man, this was, uh, this was a deep episode, man. This was definitely deep. And I'm I'm ready to get to the next one, man. Here we go, two fifty two. Two fifty two. Okay, so he's still there. A lot of stairs. Knowing the depth perception is probably really like five stairs. <laughs> like Mr. Penguin. <laughs> I'm asleep, bro. Right now, bro. Never seen him make this face before. She wants me to rescue her. Sanji is a character, man. He got a frog and a rabbit. He got hearts coming up with his smoke. He gonna see Usa. Usa went. I think he had a choice to be like, nah, I ain't no pirate no more. And they was gonna leave him alone. 8,000. One day, I would like to see. <laughs> it was gonna come true, bro. 8,000 people. Man, they got perfect, perfect you know, line right there. Mm-hmm. Usa poop. Tuck your shirt in. Huh? What did they stop it? I like Crocodile's coat better. Damn. They should be able to put out fires easy. They're surrounded by all the water and shit. Dude, just let it burn. Let Aqua Laguna take it. Drop a happy. Facts. <laughs> he turned into a raccoon dog. Everybody says that he looks like a raccoon dog. I think it's like go? a saying and just some type of translation of Japanese thing. Mm. They call what's the name of raccoon dog? Tom. Uh, Luke's. Frankie called him one. Mm. Turn to a gorilla. I'm done with this mouse. It didn't do what I needed it to do <laughs> at this mouse. That's the only ride. And we gotta go in this lobby. And we still ain't got no boat. That's the only way you're gonna get there. It's like 10 30. Polly. He said, give him a hand, you said? Where were you for the past hour, bro? <laughs> Look at man's do rag. Flowers on. That's all I can rag to say, but we'll get talking about I'll handle this later. <laughs> right. <laughs> Bougie. Naruto real daddy, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I was wondering if he was going to like keep Tell that me. type of yeah. you know, stamp on them. Taking that to the grave. Hey, Jesus Christ, y'all don't listen. Isn't it? Just go. Yeah, get them Yagaras out. That's a real leader right there, man. Mm. These things is happy no matter what's going on. <laughs> Look at Chopper. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't playing. Chopper got a new weapon now. Is the samurai sword gonna be his thing? <laughs> he gonna return that, bro. <laughs> that is wild. I wonder what the next series gonna look like. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like they need a way to cover more ground because they just all in the same area. He still, still rooting for who's up. Who's up? Please come back to. Us. <laughs> he said, "Shot crew. with me." <laughs> <laughs> he the only one saying Sanji. <laughs> okay, let's go. He just took the, his watch. That's the fastest time that went by when they tell, told us a time. It's about 10 minutes. What the seven? So are we a nice technically leaving Water 7? Mm-hmm. Like, we went to a different island. So is Enius Lobby going to be a part of in this lobby? Water 7 arc? Yeah, I think so. Just because of the story? He's smart. Mm. He's an idiot. Yeah, dang. That was too far. Man, bro. <laughs> he got a rule. Ramona. I ain't even saying nothing. Bruh, how many cigarettes do you have? He's not running as fast as I thought he was going to run. Are you talking about they never going to get away with this? <laughs> oh, man. Are you serious, Zoro? You too? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, bro. Tell him what I got stuck. Can't say nothing about Luffy, bro. That's crazy. Luffy got stuck twice. <laughs> Did he wrap the sword up now? Right. Chop about to spot somebody. Oh, it's 48 going. He goes to baby mama house. 
I leave her early. Fucking pigeon got a coat on too. This pigeon got more drip than me. He say he don't feel like it's hard to say goodbye. Yeah, he don't feel like it's hard to leave the island. Although he stayed here for five years. You running now, you walking. Bro, this ain't looking good. Like the sea train just about to just stop. We hear you, Nami. Know Think they gonna all gonna make it? All of them? Mm, they don't seem like it. No. What if what if the Mary last ditch effort Dang. was to like that would be get crazy. us to eat in this lobby? It just it just come out of nowhere. That's your crime. Mm. Didn't know them words meant so much when she said it. <laughs> Dang, Robin blessing. Yeah, that <laughs> well, I be sleeping like that sometimes. Like this, hunched over on the desk. <laughs> Just find your place to sleep. We coming to get you. It's okay. I cannot get that job, bro. This hand was straight as heck. <laughs> you got knots on the head. Sanji on there. Let's go. I thought you was on there. It looked like the inside of it for a second. Hey. Bull. Please don't. Mm -hmm. Man, they ain't get to find nothing out. <clears throat> we'll see who it was. Sanji's too cool for school. She's going crazy with them shoes. Oh, no. The frog might stop it. Mm. That mm. would be dope if it can, but I don't know. Dang. You've been working these past 14 years to build I thought the frog might have another uh, another moment because the snake had one. Dang it. I guess it's wrong. It's still possible to change. Man, that took forever for the train to leave. Uh, found out. No. Yeah, it took forever for the train to leave. I feel like the train got off pretty fast. Considering um, previous when episodes. When they said it was leaving, they was moving forever. How long is it? Mm. No no homo. Is that a, I'm just thinking about the alabaster clock scene. It kept saying three minutes or something. They go by two minutes and forty eight seconds. I'm just like, bruh. But they they talking about thirty minutes. That train was gone this episode and left early. Dang. Yeah, it's gonna, bro. What if it's a last ditch effort, bro? By the going Mary, uh, it kind of seems impossible because they said that you know she won't make it to no other island. But I don't if, be thinking people know everything. Yeah, I don't be thinking people know everything that they think they know. Mm. Maybe Dang. like I feel like. I feel like it could definitely prove people wrong. I would hope that it would. Um, yeah. It's it's pretty dope that like Sanji be always in the background and then when he shows up, he kind of can figure out the whole story himself just by looking at the current situation by figuring out like, oh, she came here. She can literally take all these people out by herself, but she's right. so it must be a reason. Right. It's like he's just putting it all together. Like maybe we need to have him watch this with us, so he just be out here guessing right. or getting older every time. Facts. <laughs> but uh, he definitely snuck on, bro. He definitely yeah, snuck on. Definitely. It was funny seeing Zoro get stuck. <laughs> Talking about it's a shame that I slipped. You know, so that's not the kind of Zorro happen to not him. like like stuck like that like Luffy is a person that gets stuck all the time yeah. he's somewhere stuck yeah. Zoro never really gets stuck he just get lost yeah Think of, so so it's kind of funny I thought about uh, Naruto and Sasuke mm -hmm. and how Naruto is like the clumsy one and when they're younger ears yeah Sasuke was always the cool one and, but to see now it's like seeing like a Sasuke Zoro be like a Naruto Luffy type thing which it's is kind of funny upside down <laughs> but yeah. cool Zoro so he's still my number one Facts. You know what I'm saying? I like Chopper with the samurai sword, man. Yeah, I hope he slice somebody down with that. Maybe that mouse. You're not letting that mouse go. No. It just turned out to be a real one. It's crazy. He's been to die in a fire with Iceberg. It's messed up. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, this is dope, man. I'm looking forward to the next episode to see what happens. Um, like I said, we're going to Enos Lobby. Only government officials allowed here. He's Ennis. Ennis. Enos. Ennis Lobby. Enos, Ennis, and I think so. I mean, we're gonna have to go up against an admiral or something if we come here. It might be somebody because think about it Robin's coming here and she's been wanted for a long time by the government, so I'm sure some high officials is gonna be here. I feel like they'll be there. I don't think we're ready for no admiral right now yet, though. I don't think so, but like that's they, like, like seeing Madara and be like. Like, we kind of like, what would I say we at? We like at the very end of Naruto, and we got going against Madara. I think it's like 
Yeah. I think we just got to defeat CP9. Maybe they'll be like, oh, we here. Okay, we checked it out. Okay, we're about to take it with us or something like that. And then they leave. And then we show up or something. I don't know. Somebody got to be here. Yeah. <laughs> They've been chasing her for 20 years. They even talked about her. It's, Bruh. It's crazy that Aoki G pretty much enforced Aoki? it. In a sense, like threatened, threatened her with the busted call. Man, that dude. <sighs> he was granted. Um... Was Aoki G threatened? It wasn't more, more so a threat, but he gave them, he either gave them the uh, power Authority. to enforce it, or he said, or he told them that they were going to enforce the bus to call had she not did what she was supposed to do mm. for them, which is turn herself in and to blame stuff on them. Bus to call. Yeah, the bus to call seemed kind of decent. What they say. I want the smoke. I want to see what it look like. I don't care. I like ship ship battles and fights, stuff like that. I'm I ready. want it too, because that means we're going to need backup, which means probably Ace might show up, Shanks or something, because we ain't taking on. We can't beat Ioki. So believe. if they bring. I'm believing. You got you, you to gotta believe. You know what I'm saying? You never know what can happen. If Luffy didn't believe, we would not be nowhere right now. So you're saying Ioki G. If we all try together, fight fight to the death, I think we, we might be able to get that him. already. Everybody. Everybody. <laughs> well, yeah, man. This is dope, man. I'm excited about the story and looking forward to the next episode, man. We'll be on 253.